Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. My dear friends, if you are looking for levels just like my other videos, then I'm extremely sorry. In this video of GBP GBSD, I will not be sharing any buy or sell levels like I do always. Okay. Rather, I will just share my opinion regarding the chart of GBP USD. So, if you're, you can also skip the video if you're simply looking for buy sell levels. But if you want to know the overall picture of GBP USD, then please watch the video carefully because, after all, it's our hard earned money and we must protect it. So, first of all, I would like to take you to this page British pound, okay, UK essential quartering set PM budget U turn expected. So you can see that quasi quartering is set after six weeks as Chancellor PM Trust is likely to make a U-turn on corporation tax. So things are not very stable for GBP right now. Okay. So after making this low here, okay, after making this low here, we saw a recovery on the chart of GBP USD. But right now, GBP USD is. Uh, probably taking a u-turn again okay probably the pressure will continue again and if we look at the daily chart of gbp usd then we can see that on the daily chart also we do not have a very clear picture it looks like a symmetrical triangle triangle pattern okay usually on a symmetrical triangle pattern we see market uh, giving us a breakout but in this condition okay considering the overall scenario okay i think the break we are having we might be having a breakdown we might be having a breakdown by monday or tuesday okay i don't know yet but but i think that it's better to be on the sale side it, it's better to be on the sale side uh, if you are considering any position on gbp usd because in my almost nine years journey i have learned one thing very well that for a direction for a direction of the market we need a fundamental factor okay and right now we do not have any fundamental factor that will bring a trend reversal on the chart of gbp usd okay. and if you consider the other factors then all the factors are pointing towards a downside only okay so yes i think uh, because of the ongoing scenario okay there the pressure on gbp usd may continue and whatever recovery we saw during the last couple of days okay i think that gbp usd uh, the recovery will be gone and market may market may show us a new down move okay let's wait and watch at least for monday okay at least for monday okay i will not recommend anything so after the market opening if you if you uh, trade on other pairs then please try to concentrate on other pairs after the market opening okay you should be avoiding gbp usd okay and if you have any open position right now on the chart of gbp usd then you can be on the trade i will not comment on that but you must be very very careful because this chart okay this chart okay uh, does not have okay the right amount of opportunities for us okay and as i always say as a trader okay as a trader it's our responsibility to protect our hard and money and capital and as a, tra a trader only trades when the opportunity is right and things are not very good and positive according to my analysis if i'm wrong if i have missed anything then please write down in the comment section i would love to learn from you because after all we are all students of the market isn't it Okay, so please write down in the comment section if you know anything special that I have missed. Okay, but right now in this market condition, I do not see any good opportunity. Okay, if market comes down to this particular level of 1.0929 or 1.0930, then we can expect a bounce. But yes, I think it's better to observe GBP USD at least for one day. Okay, let's wait and watch. Bye bye.